Now, they were one of Coronation Street's most successful couples, but sadly, Fizz and Tyrone have joined the growing list of failed soap relationships. Yeah. And last week, things escalated even more when Fizz's daughter, Hope, started that devastating fire in the flat. But how far will Fizz go to protect her? That is the question. Jenny McAlpine will be telling us more next. But first, let's take a look back at her heartbreak on the cobbles. Who is it the person you're thinking of? Alina. We've got an appointment with a midwife. Go up. Oh, wow. I hate that baby. You don't mean that. You think anyone's in there? She's all right. She's in hell quite a lot of smoke, so we need to get her checked out. Alina lost that baby. Why are the police here? They have to find out who started it. Someone to get in lots of trouble. I can't believe what you're accusing her of. It was put there on purpose. What? Awesome. Yeah. I want to talk to you about the fire at Daddy's flat. It was Fizz. No way. No, I'm telling the police that you know something, because I can tell you do. All right, well, you've got to let me go. You've got to let me take hope. Tie the fire. It was hope. Where are we going on an adventure? Exactly. Oh, Oof. dilemmas, decisions, and oh. and I, th oh. I think it, I think it actually, in a way, brings uh, Tyrone and um, Fizz maybe a bit closer. Maybe it might. Maybe me, am I just being optimistic here? You might be. I okay. think. Well, yeah. well, it, well, it sort of does in that. Um, they've had to, well, they spent most of Friday's episode together talking about what they were going to do with Hope. And then, yeah, Fizz has gone on um, a tram with Hope. Um, yeah, it's just awful. The whole thing is awful. Is awful. The whole <laughs> thing is awful. But also, <laughs> the, the breakup between um, Fizz and Tyrone. Now, mm. OK, that's the storyline. But as an actress, does that actually. Does that disappoint you or does that excite you, the fact that it's a whole new chapter for your character? Well, I mean, originally, d disappointed, gutted, gutted me um, and Alan because we just love working together. And you two know, I mean, you know, most of the time, you know, once you know each other and you get on, it's sort of, it's like putting on a nice pair of comfy slippers. Yeah. So um, the thought of not having scenes with him w was awful. But then when we got the scripts and it, uh, the family and uh, all the scenes that we had with this family breaking up, which is what happens with the kids and, you know, the nana and everyone was involved. They were they were gorgeous, and I, I really, you know, I was chuffed that the writers gave us it to do. And um, so, yeah, that has been brilliant. I'm working with, because in real life, Roxy, who plays Alina, is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so I couldn't have thought of someone, you know, more gorgeous to argue with and shout at and <laughs> give funny looks to. And I suppose, I mean, um, that's why Corey is so brilliant, Jenny, because... You know, Fizz and Tyrone seemed unbreakable, didn't they? We all loved them as a couple. They'd been through a lot together. They had this lovely family, um, and you know, with Nana coming in as well. And so they have punched us between the eyes with that one. I know, they really did. But, yeah, it's given us some... Like, it's just... Yeah, it's given us... Well, more, <laughs> this story, obviously, that's on now, um, that, you know, wouldn't have happened without, without us splitting up and Hope being so sort of desperately jealous she was sort of she took her eye off the ball because and you know we I went on um, a few um lovely dates last week with um with Phil who came out of the blue and he was another um uh, another thing that sort of um uh, hope got jealous of and so you know she had her eye off the ball there and before and then you know Alina's pregnant all that stuff she didn't really oh she didn't know that this was going to happen, even though, well, Hope has got form, so I don't well, know Hope why. Hope has got form for starting yeah. fires, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, but, you know, she loves her daughter. So we've seen that you whizzing off to the tram, going, we're going on an adventure. Has Fizz th thought this through in yeah. any shape or form? No, as she heck, definitely not. I mean, the only thing she planned was the sandwiches that she was making for the journey. Apart from that, she has no idea... Um, what she's doing she's just like you say an absolutely desperate mom because um she really feels i mean she feels on her own um anyway because tyrone left her he has started this new family yeah okay he's sort of been there for the girls but not really now she knows that hope's done this she also knows that hope's sort of old enough to 
be responsible you know the, like it's obviously very serious what she's done um so no she hasn't thought it through but she's thought i'm gonna protect her i'm gonna get her out of the way i don't think but she doesn't have a plan she doesn't have a plan no. watch this space <laughs> as they say but to what yeah. extent would she take the rap for hope do you think well i mean i mean lots of people were kind of saying that last week um um on the old social media to um to Corrie's um account saying she's not going to take the rap for her is she that's the worst thing you could do because hope needs to learn um but ultimately i mean it is that it is a dilemma isn't it is that question would you do that for your child would is it the right thing to do um you know should she oh gosh it's awful um i i i she loves her little girl. So um, I think if it was a choice between Fizz going to prison or Hope going to some sort yeah. of, you know, youth offenders unit, I yeah. don't know. I think Fizz. Yeah. Listen, talking I about. Do you do anything for kids? Talking about little girls, um, earlier this year, you passed that 20 year milestone on Corey. So, how <laughs> young? You were very young. Your little bones were hardly formed. <laughs> when yeah. you walk down that street. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I was 17, just turned 17. Um, it was in 2001. I mean, I went there to be Roy and Haley's foster child for four episodes, and that's all I was supposed to do. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know if it's been some kind of clerical error, but 20 years later, I'm um, <laughs> still there. Well, we're very glad you're still there. Um, <laughs> I, I have to say, Jenny, you know, because you know I'm a big Corrie fan, uh, mm -hmm. I was really upset about um, Tyrone and Fizz splitting up. And the big mm -hmm. question always, you know, with all these scenes, are these little moments the two of you have where I go, they still love each other. They're going to yeah. get back together. Are they going to get back together well, is the big question. The thing is, I think... <sighs> They do. Well, they, they did. And, but there's this massive, um, the, the la well, last, b b obviously this awful tragedy has happened now, but you know, Tyrone, he'd made this, he's made this new, new bed. And I don't know, I think she's, you know, this is just try she's tried to move on. Um, but yeah, I, they've got so much history and I think that's what came out and that with, you know, when there was scenes, um, with Tyrone and Alina where she said, you know, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me about Kirsty and what that was like? And but yeah, they just had they've got a history, Fizz and Tyrone, but yeah. See the thing is what I'm loving, this is what this, I said before, it's great that I'm still getting to do scenes with yeah. Alan. And I mean yeah, I'm yeah. shouting at him and I mean I shouted at Tyrone like when we were together and now I'm just shouting <laughs> at him. Shouting you know, louder. Basically <laughs> no different, really. <laughs> Well, look, lovely talking to you. Coronation Street tonight, half past seven and half past eight on ITV. Uh, Jenny McAlpin in there who plays uh, Fizz and she jumped on a tram with Hope, but she's no idea where yeah, right. she's going to. So um, follow the story and more. Jenny, lovely oh, talking Jenny, to, you. to you. Always good you to see too, you. You too, you too. Lots Thank of you. love. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.